All right. It's Tea Cup Friday. Oh, yeah. You're not going to need a lot of clay. Just a little bit. Almost half of what you use for your bowl, probably. Just very little clay. Uh, about a about the, the amount of um, the slab project. Uh, about one of those and maybe a half another one, so if that makes sense. Uh, not much clay. I'm just getting physical here, just like the bowl. Uh, smacking into a ball using the palm of my hand. Uh, once you do that, find a center, and I'm just going to stick my thumb into it. Use my four fingers like a puppet like we've been doing for the bowl. Um, it's a smaller piece. It's a little bit more delicate. It's actually harder to make a teacup, I believe, than a bowl. Just because it's smaller, it's more delicate. Um, you have to pinch a little softer. Some people get too emotional here. So you just got to take your time. And I'm just I'm checking the walls right here, making sure I, my walls are all the same thickness. And then I'm just going to repeat that same process over and over. I'm starting at the bottom with the cup of my hand, uh, pu pushing, pushing the clay out, then pinching all the way to the top like I'm walking a spiral staircase, overlapping my thumb each time all the way till I get to the top of that uh, teacup. It's just repeating it over and over till, you, till your walls are just perfect, just like our bowl. And I'm uh, checking it here. It's, it's almost there. And uh, I, th I'm, I think I'm pretty much there. And then now, um, I'm just setting mine on, on top of a piece of paper. You set it on your canvas, probably be better. And I'm gonna start smoothing out the top. I've just ringed out my sponge. Um, not not crazy amount of water in it, because I don't want to, saturate my my uh my teacup with too much water it'll start falling apart it'll get too stretchy um you saw how i lifted the paper up to flip it over it's very fragile right here i'm just i put a little water on my table so and then kind of patted it down you saw how i did that just to make a little flat bottom that allows it to spin and you look how i'm using my finger now instead of the rib tool i'm using my finger just to pull the clay up because it's so small in there i can't get any tool in there to help me uh, smooth it out so i'm just using my finger Pulling upward with my hand behind on the other side on the cup so I'm not disfiguring my cup. Now I'm very, very, very lightly scraping the top with my rib tool, the flat edge, to kind of straighten that top up. My clay is very soft right here, very soft. And you look how thin I'm getting. I'm going to get a little bit thinner than I did on my bowl. I want this to be a little bit more delicate. I don't want a big old heavy uh, teacup. Getting emotional here, folks. I'm blow drying it, not too much, but I want it to get more leather hard so I can get physical and start putting that handle on. I flipped it over, I'm blow drying the, the inside now. And now, the handle. See, I'm, I'm not, not much clay at all, just a finger. Just, and I'm gonna use the palm of my hand, just lightly, just very lightly, just rolling it out. I'm barely pushing it all. And uh, look, at, I'm gonna make it into the shape I want. I'm gonna check it with my cup, boom. Now I'm just gonna cut the edges so I get nice straight edges. And then my clay is so soft, I'm gonna blow dry it just a little bit. Now you gotta be careful here, you don't wanna overdo it. Just to get a little bit so it keeps the shape. And there we got the slip, the magical slip, the glue. And I'm gonna put, I'm gonna scratch this bad biscuit up, get emotional, scratching it up. And then I'm gonna add that slip to it as you can see, I'm scratching different directions like Velcro. I'm getting emotional here, scratching it all up. And then look, I'm just going to kind of tap it just barely, just to mark where I need to scratch my other piece now. Now, if I were doing a lizard, which I'm going to show here in a little bit, or putting on like flowers on the outside, I got to do the same thing. I got to scratch whatever I'm putting on there and scratch the, the, the bowl or cup itself. And then boom, I pushed it on there and I, I used the back of my finger when I was pushing it on, on the inside of the cup to really push that handle on, but I didn't get too crazy. Then I'm taking a paintbrush, a sponge. I'm just cleaning that all up, making it as best as I can. But I'm not gonna carve it today. It's just too soft and delicate. I'm gonna put it in a bag very lightly, just like I'm doing here. And I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna bag it up, but you know, I'm not getting crazy. I'm just gonna let it set overnight. 
and I'm going to come back the next day, just like I'm doing here, and I'm going to carve it when it's more leather hard. I can get more physical. I can get better carving this way. Um, so, and this, these teacups, they're small, delicate, so it's kind of tough if it's not leather hard to, to do your carving. I want you to decorate the whole outside, okay? Uh, you can do all carving. You can do a combination like I did here, some, some 3D stuff popping out, but... It's got to be functional. I got to be able to use this thing. I really want to drink some tea out of it. Okay. And look at this one. I did all carve work. So you could just do all carving if you want, but you could add some 3D aspects too if you want. And look at that handle. I, uh, I made it into like a little lizard head. So that's it, folks. It's Teacup Friday. Stay tuned.